it's quite interesting looking at Yun Wo-ping as a director. He doesn't get the respect I think he deserves because he's well known for directing action. But if you look at the comedy beats, and also a lot of the time, there aren't that many angles you can shoot from in these because you're shooting on location. So you can't move the walls out and you have limited space. You constantly see him looking at new angles, shooting up to the sky. Now, when they come outside, you find that you have Yun Yat Cho on the far left. That is um, the same guy we saw earlier in the in the ta in the tavern in the kind of the, in the hostel. And he's I mentioned before, he became a kung fu comedy star in his own right, also a son of a Yun Su Tin. They'd be very careful shooting outdoors because if you shot the wrong angle, you've got modern buildings and cars that you obviously don't want to see when you're shooting a period kung fu movie. So again, uh, a beautiful comedic beat, and the 66-year-old Yun Su Tin, who had this wonderful background in Chinese opera, Dai He and Bat Pai, and uh, this was actually shot somewhere else because that angle didn't work because of modern buildings in the background. So you have Jackie coming in to, to save the day, or to try to save the day. So again, this heroic underdog from a rival school. And this was shot at another background because when you actually shot the reverse from here, you would see a lot of stuff, that, modern stuff that you didn't want to see. So Jackie, um, as he said before, when what, what made him different from Bruce Lee is Bruce Lee could beat everybody from the beginning of the film. And Jackie couldn't beat anybody from the beginning of the film. And that's what made him work. This is the only time actually he and uh, Du Chi Ling have fought on camera. So it's kind of a memorable scene because Du Chi Ling is now such a famous figure from the world of, uh, of Hong Kong. Now this is introducing one of the tropes of Yun Mo Peng, the idea of a Kung Fu master using another person as a weapon. So you don't realize that uh, Jackie doesn't realize he's being used and the other people don't realize Jackie doesn't actually know any Kung Fu. He's being constantly manipulated by the old master. And uh, this very much drawing on the Chinese opera, drawing on the, uh, everybody who made this film also loved the old black and white uh, movie, Buster Keaton, Harold Lloyd, uh, Lauren Hardy, Charlie Chaplin. So these films actually play really well. If you turn on sound off like we have now, you still can enjoy them because they, you don't need to understand the language. You don't need to know what's happening. All you're missing out on is the wah, wah, wah music. But the whole story is told in motion. So in that respect, they're like a cartoon or they're like the old black and white movies. And that I think is something that happened in Hollywood was that a long time in Hollywood, talkies came in and they would spend so much time recording the sound and that made the movies, they weren't so much movies, they were more talkies. We never had that. During this era in Hong Kong, they never recorded sound. 